This is going to be interesting. psychiatrist here with a third unboxing video and some of you probably already know what this is if you've gone to the school others well it's probably a mystery school of firearms technology look at our logo that's a logo that most could be proud of when I was trying to find a reason to burn up my GI Bill because I was under the threat of losing it I had a decision to go back to school which the main reason I picked a gunsmithing school is because, well, I don't know, I've been gunsmithing for 10 years, and I thought it would be easy. I had a handful of schools to choose from, and I kind of selected SDI over the school's branding and marketing. I thought the logo was cool, started looking through their program, thought that was cool. Okay, I'll give it a try. Here it is almost a little over a year later, and they have decided to rebrand themselves. Ugh. So, this is whatever you want to call it. So far, it's been quite mixed among the students. I would say it's probably about 80% that are completely disgusted by the new branding change and about 20% that are just licking the schools and think it's great. Whatever, that's your opinion. My opinion is, I don't think this is a good idea that the school rebranded themselves. There was no reason to. And... We're not a normal, what you would quote, university or institute. We're very specific in the fact that we only cover firearms-related things, which the old logo was very appropriate in conveying that as an image of the school as to what it stands for. This new logo change, I'm sorry, but it makes us look like some kind of a gay fraternity or something like that. Even here in the statement, it says, as a current student, we wanted you to be among the first to have the SDI gay pride gear that matches our brand logo and new look. I hope you will love the logo and colors as much as we do. Check out our all-new website at sdi.edu to see more. Enjoy your new shirt and sticker, and thank you for being an SDI student. Well, I don't enjoy the logo and t-shirt as much as you do, and whoever's idea this was to come up with a design that's a cross between I'm a freaking retard and Superman. This is a disaster waiting to unfold. I hope the school would reconsider their idea to rebrand itself and try to look more liberal and mainstream and I don't know. I'm a basket case that goes to a university. Well, we're not basket cases that go to university. We're a very niche school that deserves a very niche logo. You definitely won't catch me wearing this shirt. The old logo carried a persona or it, it projected a symbol of strength, intelligence, and uniqueness. This new logo projects a symbol of weakness and just lameness. And that's not us. That's not any of these students. So for the 80% of us that are pretty much opposed to this, what the school has to understand is that, now I'm not going to be going out, but plenty of students are going to be going out there into the general public and citing that they have a degree from Sonoran Desert Institute to use it to help their qualifications, to help gain new customers, to help gain gainful employment opportunities. And by the school changing this, like I'm completely embarrassed to tell anybody that I went to the school because we look like a bunch of weak pansy fuck. I honestly think compared to the old logo to the new logo, the old logo, they had it going on. This new one, I think they're just trying to appeal to a crowd that hates firearms in general and is never going to go to a firearms related school. And you got to realize that you're not going to get liberal snowflakes to come to this school. It's just not going to happen. You can give us classes that preach and teach communism and how much America is a democracy all you want, but it's all fucking lies. And no matter what you change your logo to, to try to appeal 
to people that are not going to come to this school. When, when you grovel to these people, it's going to backfire on you. And that's a fact. We're seeing this happen in everyday life in the political world. And granted, SDI tries to say, well, we don't try to get political. Well, everything is politics in life. And when you try to grovel and cater to the people that want nothing to do with you, you're going to get nothing. You're going to get failure. You kind of got to honor your alumni and your current students and your future students because they're kind of all along the same lines as we are. So for 80% of us, I'm not going to say everybody feels like that, but I don't want to have that logo associated with my name with, with like people are going to go on there and laugh about it. it it's a literally the laughing stock of Facebook right now with about 80% of students because it is is like is this a joke? Is it like a month ago in April? Is this like an April Fools joke? This is what we're wondering right now. And this is what I'm wondering because I don't want to push that oh my god, this is a school I went to. It, it makes you the laughing stock of whoever's going to be hiring you. Or whoever is going to be doing business with you. Unfortunately, it looks like it's here to stay. Because, don't worry, SDI listens to the students and their feedback. And if this is the feedback you got from the students, I guess it's like everything else in America. When something bad happens, three people will change the law for the rest of the population. So, if that's how this works, sorry. Exclude me out. All I can say is, I just got my new rebranded SDI logo for my trash can. I don't want the crap. I'm not going to wear it. I'm still going to wear my old SDI pride gear because that's what SDI was really about. It's the school's right. They, it, it's a private company. It, it's a private institution. They have a right to destroy themselves. And um, just about 80% of the students out there are trying to say, hey, guys, don't commit suicide because this logo is committing suicide. But I'm done rambling about this. Uh, it, it's just really unfortunate that I've seen the school just kind of go downhill. But it is what it is. And a lot of people tell you, when you get into the program, get ready for massive amounts of disappointment. And I got to say, out of everything, this is probably the most disappointing thing I think the school has done. So anyways, hope you found this informative. What do you guys think of the new logo? I'm interested to hear that. I want to know what everybody thinks of the new logo. So leave your opinion in the comments below. I think it's terrible, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just being overcritical. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you on my next video.